This place has so much potential. I can't wait to decorate. I've got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We don't exactly have the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom. It'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yeah, but how? It just works. Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with, like, a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The guy with the ponytail? Other ex, Teddy. The woman with the mohawk. Walk away while you can. Keep it moving! I wish my dad was as cool as my stepdad. Right, so here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Cannon would rock at the church. Just take a picture of it. The Saints want power, not change. All right, let's head back and see what we got. So, Teddy, she was cool. She still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa, of course. Ugh, Melissa. She has a good heart. Now that was amusing.
Oh, how about we put the can in here? Nice. That looks badass. Keep a lookout for the rest of the shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. Eli, what's up? I hereby invite you to the inaugural meeting of the Saints Board of Directors. Oh, uh, that sounds pretty corporate structure-y. There'll be donuts. On my way. Okay, so we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with the people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. Everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Shit. My contacts all have their own things going already. What about JR? Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints? Good in her to ask. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Panteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. Kevin, <laughs> you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay, go be superstars. Meantime, I'm gonna finish going through that briefcase we got from John Bland. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. JR, how'd you like to be part of something big? My friends and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those bad terrorists are cutting into our profits something fierce. Tell you what, join our new thing and no one's ever gonna mess with this garage again. Well, you take care of this Panteros problem and I'll consider it. Deal. How are these Panteros fucking with our business? You name it. Undercutting costs, scaring off our customers. Sergio said this jacked up mountain of a dude named Derek to run me out of business any way and every way he can. You take care of his toughs at the park, maybe you'll scare him enough to go mess with someone else. Say no more. Jim Rob's garage is off limits. Show your face there again, you're dead. The old man sent you? You're going down. Cocktail time. You mess with JR, 
you mess with us. Get behind something. What's ours? Uh. Howdy. Hey, JR. I took care of the crew in the park. <laughs> I'll be. Let's go after their supply lines next. Derek's got a crew at the train depot smuggling in crates of stolen parts. That's how they keep undercutting my prices. Don't worry, I got this. Feel free to blow up their cars, too. Panteros get real bugged by that. Hey, Eli. I'm cleaning up Pantero's problem for JR, and I think he's in. How's the rest of the team doing? Great. Kevin knows so many people. <laughs> Bet all he has to do is buy him coffee to get him to sign on, while I'm busting my ass torching Pantero's cars. Come on, you know you love it. <laughs> I really do. Do not make me chase you! You made me do this! Ancient territory, dumbass! It is now! You fuck with Jim Rob, you answer to the Saints! You're about to get stomped! Sergio, Jim Rob's garage is under the Saints' protection! Jim Rob's. Two for two, JR. Son of a gun, you still got it. Only thing left to hit is Derek's HQ. It's down on the corner. Oh, hell's bells. You gotta get back here. Derek and his crew just rolled up on me. This is what you get for fighting back, old man. You get off of my land. Fuck, I better hurry.
one last time. Stay away from JR. That settles Derek and his crew. Right thoughtful of him to bring the fight to us. So, what should I tell my friends? You in? I'm in. What do you call this new outfit? We're the Saints. Welcome aboard. Well, we can count JR and... Uh, what is this? It's not board game night. No. This is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right, so... How do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church. And Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. Okay, look, there's nothing cool about toxic waste. It's gross, it's probably gonna kill you, but that green stuff's gonna make us rich. The big companies drive their toxic waste here and pay us big bucks by the barrel. Then we dump it on the cheap. Now, my man with the plan is Jersey Dan. He did time for this kind of shit, so he knows what he's talking about. He'll fill you in. Dan, where are the trucks? Well, turns out we gotta get the trucks ourselves. What? Why don't the customers bring him here? Our customers are respectable captains of industry. They don't want to be associated with the likes of us. Then fuck them. Now hear me out. For an additional transport fee, I arrange to have them leave the trucks at places around the city. All you gotta do is drive them here. Fine, I'll get the trucks. And that's how you lead by example. 
I put the first one on the map for you. 